Hello everyone, welcome back to another fossil hunting video. I'm out on the beach again, looking for some really nice fossils. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you a really nice find that I found yesterday, a nice crocodile vertebra. So definitely stick around to the end to see that one. So a little bit of a scabby bit, but there is a partial imprint of a Elegantitris ammonite. It's been rolling around in the sea for quite some time, so I'm going to leave this one. I've just spotted a really nice little middle of a very small ammonite fossil. Let's have a look at it. Lovely little Dactylioceros. Both sides have been revealed by the sea. Always like to pick these little bits up. Lovely looking worn keel wearing out. I'm guessing it'll be a double. A very nice double ammonite specimen. The uh, second one has obviously eroded, so it's only half of one. But that one looks lovely. I mean, look at them suture patterns on the keel. Gorgeous. So this nodule here could potentially have a very nice ammonite on the inside of it. I'm going to go ahead and crack it open right now and then we'll see. Totally empty, what a shame. A very nice looking potential lobster nodule here. I'm going to give this one a crack open in a little bit. I've collected quite a few of these so Hopefully I'll have one or two half-decent specimens to show you. If you are interested in purchasing your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called biofossil.com. I've got a bunch of really nice ammonite fossils and really nice pieces of bone up for sale. So please go ahead and take a look if you are interested. I'll ship it worldwide. A section of a huge Nautilus would have been absolutely gigantic, but it's only the very top part. It's great to see some quite rough seas because it's been a little bit flat for the past week or so so it's a bit of a change. A whirl from a Harpotherus ammonite. Pretty cool, a little bit of pyrite content there. I've just realised that the sea is super loud today, so hopefully you can hear me pretty well. So I stopped filming a bit while I've been bagging up a few dacks, and I've just come across this monster nodule here. How cool would it be if it was a massive ammonite on the inside? Split in two, but it was absolutely empty. Hello everyone, so now I'm going to show you that really nice vertebra that I've told you about at the very start of the video. So I've only got one or two pieces of nice crocodile bone in my collection. So while I was out searching with Dan yesterday at a different beach to this one, I was very happy to pick up this. It's a little bit sea worn, but it's all there. Crocodile vertebra. Personally, I found crocodile bone to be even more rare than plesiosaur. It's had a little bit of wear by the sea, but it's completely all there. It's got a bit of the neural arch on it as well. You can see from this little end here that when it was up in the cliff, there were a bunch more associated verts, but had a really good scour of the area. And this was the only piece that I found. Okay, everyone, so here's my haul from today. I'm gonna crack all these nodules open now. These are most likely lobster bearing nodules, if anything. And here is my DAC haul for today. Not that many, but I'd say it's a pretty good haul for such a warm 
and busy day at the beach. There's a lot of people in the main bay around the corner. But yeah, I'm very happy with that. What a beautiful day on the beach. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all on the next one.